day our hometown burned, that was the day we enlisted. At last, we had something to believe in, something worth fighting for. None of us yet knew, we couldn't foresee, what this war would cost us. It was a battlefield, but it was where we grew up. Wind out of the northeast, clear skies, and uh, uh, uh. Huh? nap time's over. Come on, Raz. I wasn't napping, just resting my eyes. You gotta relax, man. You are way too freaking tense. Your hands are shaking. <sighs> so sack up, Commander. It's about time we get ready to roll out. Let's show those imps what's coming to them. Yeah. Shift in the wind. There. Huh? You getting those wind whispers again? Imperials incoming! All right, boys! It's go time! Squad E! Do you read me? Squad E! This is Commander Claude Wallace. Squad E! The Imperial forces are on the move! Heading for your position! Ready to engage. Do not let them break through to the front line! We're counting on you! Roger that. Over. Good luck, Squaddy. They won't advance until they're done shelling the area. We should have time to prepare. Kai, take a group to that southern hill and slow down their left flank. Raz, take two soldiers east and make some noise for me. You got that? Gotcha. Keep up or get left behind! At your command! Hoffin, roll out! Ready to engage. All right. Just remember your training. We can do this. Eliminate all Imperial hostiles. Let's stop their advance. Squad E, move out. All set, Raz? Just say the word, boss. I'm locked, loaded, and in freaking invincible. Okay. First, we'll see how they respond to some infantry. Squad E, move out. I got this. Got enemies here. Fault. I see. They're good. Damn it, these assholes are in my way. I can't break through this. Why not? You're invincible, right? Are you really getting tripped up over some common foot soldiers? Why don't you ever stop and think? Oh, shut up! Just hurry and take him out, will ya? Thought you'd never ask. This won't take long. There we go. About time, Claude. Yeah, I know. Soldiers, forward! 
Now's our chance to take the offensive. Now advancing. Incoming! There! Too easy. Our allies have been taken out! They're in range! I see. They're good. Busting out the tanks, huh? This one's all yours, Claude. It's our turn now. Fire up the engine, Miles. Yes, sir. Okay, the Hoffman's moving out. Destroy the enemy tank. Okay, moving out. They're not fighting back. Something's wrong. Want to try? Squad E don't take shit from nobody. Claude knows what I'm. T oh, you okay? The flowers. Uh. Oh, yeah. They didn't stand a chance. Come on, man. You're supposed to be commander of the Ranger Corps. A commander still has a heart, same as a foot soldier. Rank doesn't make this any less painful to see. Oh, but crying over flowers? Even little girls have bigger balls these days. Maybe. But what matters is that their hearts... All right, I get it. Power of the heart, blah, blah, blah. Look, just go turn in your report already, will ya? Can't go get sloshed if we're stuck here on standby. Good point. I'll head to the command center. Yeah, you do that. And... Tell the brass to send us tougher imps to fight next time, yeah? Sir, First Lieutenant Claude Wallace reporting in. Good work out there. Glad you're still in one piece. We're just about to go over our next operation. You're late. I'm sure you know standard procedure is to report immediately after a mission. Oh, Minerva. You're reporting too? That's lieutenant to you, Claude. Don't get smart with me just because we share rank. I've got seniority. <clears throat> Sorry, Lieutenant Minerva Victor. <laughs> well, let's get started. Minerva, give us a situation report. Yes, sir. Three months have passed since we went to war. I won't sugarcoat it. They're steamrolling us. By this point, a third of our territory is under Imperial control. This is officially a crisis. If it's that bad already, we won't even be able to sustain a war effort. You're right. And the Empire's only gaining momentum. If this draws out much longer... The Federation's finished. Uh. If we fall, that's it for Europa. Nobody else could stand against them. The Empire would take total control. It'd be a fascist continent ruled with an iron fist. We can't let that happen. Europa's future depends on us. Which brings us to now. The top brass finally got off their seats and sent us a plan. A counterattack that can turn the war around in one fell swoop, ready to be put into action. What are the orders? 
we put all our force into one strike. Break through their defenses and hit them where they'll hurt most. Soldiers, supplies. We'll use all reserves we have to make a final push and capture one crucial enemy base. And we lucky few of the 32nd Armored Ranger Battalion have been handpicked as the vanguard. Couldn't ask for a better mission, sir. Which enemy base are we targeting? Think bigger. We take this base, and we take their will to fight. But how could any one target mean that much to... Wait, you don't mean... You always were a clever boy, Claude. I think you've got it. Our target is the Imperial capital of Schwarzgrad. Let's fight back! Operation Northern Cross. The year was 1935 EC. Two great powers vied to control the continent of Europa. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, a dictatorship known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies banded together to form the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their prosperity, its growing scarcity leading inevitably to war. With its overwhelming military might, the Empire captured one nation after another. While the Federation struggled to maintain unity, every battle driving them further back against the wall. Three months have passed. With seven-tenths of Europa falling to the Imperial War Machine, the Federation places all its hope in a desperate counterattack. Operation Northern Cross. Six million soldiers fought in this campaign. It claimed more lives than any other in the Second European War. Federation historians call it the Eastern Theater, but the Empire knows it as the War for the Motherland. Forward, soldiers! This is the battle you've been training for! Operation Northern Cross begins now! We'll wipe those Imperials clear off the face of Europa! Our time has come! Forward to victory! Countless soldiers fought and died on those fields, struggling to make their ideals a reality. Ordinary people thrust into extraordinary circumstances, fighting in the hopes that they would see a brighter future. What follows here is a record of those brave warriors, a record of that battle against the dark. Based on the diary of one Claude Wallace, the commander of the Federation's Gallian Squad E. March the 10th. At long last, we have finally entered Imperial territory. The ferocity of the Federation counterattack caught the Empire off guard. Battle by battle, town by town, we're pushing back the front, with no signs of slowing down. The road to Schwarzgrad is a long one, running at least 1,500 kilometers from friendly territory into the heart of the Empire. But at the end of it lies our target, the capital city. We have a long trek ahead of us, but for now, morale is high. Everyone here believes in this operation. Everyone is praying it'll succeed. <laughs> I guess the Empire's not so tough after all, huh, Commander? Give them one good stomp and, and all of a sudden they're running off home. Huh? So are you gonna take a picture of everything we pass? Here, let me have a look at it. Uh, hey, Raz, come on! <laughs> Stop it! Really? You're wasting my film! Wasting? No chance! What you got here is a picture of a future hero! <gasps> you take one too, eh, Kai? Yeah, maybe. Uh -huh. There you go. That's a keeper. Uh, damn it, Miles! The hell was that for? Freaking hurt, Quiet. man! I told him to stop the tank. Huh? Everything okay? The wind shifted.
They brought out the big guns. A blast that big could wipe out a whole squad. Let's keep moving. They brought out the big guns. A blast that big could wipe out a whole squad. Easy. Let's keep moving. A rendezvous point with Squad F should be nearby. <gasps> Flash. Thunder. That's the password. Next time, give us the response before you scare us shitless. Apologies. I didn't mean to frighten you. Follow me. Lieutenant Victor is waiting. Who? Oh, you mean Minerva. And you are... Corporal Crystal Ward, from Squad F. Indeed, I have the honor of answering to Minerva Victor, the strongest and smartest officer in the army. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> I assume you saw that explosion. Oh, we saw it all right. They must be packing serious heat. A 21 centimeter howitzer. Currently, our worst nightmare. It must have a range of at least 10 kilometers. We can't advance with that thing around. Just so. Our mission is to capture that cannon. Commander! Good work leading Squad E so far, Claude. Your slow pace, however, does leave something to be desired. We saw cannon fire, so we've been proceeding with caution. Keep your excuses. As I said before, the success of Operation Northern Cross hinges on our swift advance. Time is of the essence. I know. You try hustling with a huge cannon up your ass. Oh, wait! You already tried and failed. Down, boy. Claude, have you not housebroken your squad? The hell did you say? I'd appreciate it if you didn't insult my soldiers. They're people, not pets. Then I expect them to act like it. I'm not the one wagging my tongue. Soldiers who step out of line are often the first to die. Remember that, Sergeant Raz. Yeah, yeah. Hope you make it out alive too, Lieutenant. <laughs> um, Commander? Uh, there's a good view from the clearing. Maybe we could brief them there. Claude, come with me. Allow me to explain your next mission. As you know, Fort Crest has a 21 centimeter howitzer that's blocking our advance. It might just look like an old castle turned into a makeshift fort. They've stationed quite a few troops to defend the cannon. If we get too close, those turrets on the walls will mow us down. So when does our own cannon get here? That howitzer already destroyed it. We were outranged. Blown up already? How long will the replacement take? The bridge was destroyed too, so the artillery tractor can't proceed. It will take at least seven days. Though we do have plenty of infantry en route. It doesn't matter how many foot soldiers we get. Without a cannon, we're just waiting around. Not necessarily. Huh? Time is of the essence. We don't have a week to wait. You're as sharp as ever. Like he says, we can't afford to wait. We'll have to capture the fort without artillery. That's too reckless. Those turrets would fill us with more holes than golly and cheese. It's a dangerous mission, I know. But those are your orders. This isn't your local militia. This is what you signed up for when you joined the Edinburgh Army. You're right. We enlisted to crush the Empire, not to commit suicide. Then allow me to clue you in on something. Crystal, tell them the news. Yes, ma'am. 
This morning, the Empire invaded Galia. They've... invaded? I knew it was only a matter of time. What about our hometown? Is Hoffman okay? All we know is that the battle broke out near the border, at Citadel Girlandio. The Imperial Army, however, is being led by Prince Maximilian himself. Galia's prospects look grim. Oh, damn it! Is there nothing we can do? If Operation Northern Cross goes as planned, the Empire won't have the luxury of staying on the offensive. Our only option is to complete the mission as soon as possible. Guess we've got no choice then. If our home's in the Empire's sights, then we've got to protect it! Yeah, let's do it for Galia. Here are your orders. Now, capture that cannon! You ready? Take down the Imperial camp. Capture their heavy artillery. Squad E, move out! I expected resistance, but they're tough nuts to crack. What should we do? We can't exactly rush in and kick the door down. We'll get routed if we don't have a plan. First, we need a solid foothold. Let's capture that camp. After that, well, guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Weapons free. Squad E, move out. Wind. I see. Advancing! I will see this through. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. I'll support you. Oh, I did it! Target the Please work! Too well fortified. Even with the camp, we can't advance like this. This is bad, Claude. If this keeps up, they'll mow us down. Come on, let's just go all out and charge them. Better than sitting here and dying, right? No, a frontal assault is way too dangerous. You have to stand back. Easy for you to say. Damn, if only we had artillery. There has to be some way through. Just hang on until I find it. He's everywhere. What are we supposed to do, damn it? <laughs> Looks like you're in a tight spot, Cinderella. Wait, Cinder, what now? This sure as hell ain't a fairy tale. I'd love to get to the ball at the castle, but I don't even have a pumpkin, let alone a carriage. Seriously? What's gotten into you, Claude? No godmother, but I can work some magic for you. Magic, huh? We could use a little. If it was real. Heat this! Cut him! Pretty good! Um. Squad. All right, we broke through. Keep advancing. Capture that cannon. Federation 
bastards. We won't let the blood, sweat, and tears of the Imperial people fall into your hands. <sighs> Glory to the Motherland! Everyone, get down! So this is the 21 centimeter howitzer. Or what's left of it, anyway. So much for surrendering. Denying us this scrap metal cost them their lives. They chose death before dishonor. Everyone who goes to war knows they might die. But if I was in their shoes, I don't think I could pull the trigger. We're not fighting to die. We're fighting to live. These men died for their country, and I respect that. Still... Yeah. Weapons can be replaced. Lives can't. <sighs> but speaking of weapons... How about those new guns the reinforcements were carrying? For being portable, it sure packed a wallop. Big things really do come in small packages. It's got state-of-the-art tech with the range of a tank! Never seen one of these beauties? And I thought you were supposed to be the cream of the crop. Grants every soldier's wish. Awesome, right? You see in this? Isn't that... Say, who's in charge of the squad? Gotta say, I'm impressed at how quickly they were able to change their tactics on the fly. Uh, well... Hmm? Wait, Raz? What are you doing in the Edinburgh Army? We enlisted together to protect Galia. No way! Lena? Small world, huh? Oh, sorry. I'm going by Kai now. Wait, Kai? Uh, but that's your... Riley. Hmm, I don't really get it, but okay. I'll call you Kai. Anyway, it's so amazing to see you. What are the odds of seeing old friends in a foreign war zone? Beats me. How'd you end up in joint operations anyway? Since you asked so nicely... <clears throat> I'm Lieutenant Riley Miller. After majoring in Ragnite Engineering, the Army brought me on as an artillery advisor. I've been temporarily transferred from the field artillery team for this joint operation. As long as I'm here, I'll provide the fire support you need to take down the Empire. My knowledge is your power. Just what our squad needed. We appreciate the support, Riley. So, where's the commander? I wanted to introduce myself. Uh, about that. It's not just us two in this squad. Huh? You mean Kai's here after all, or...? Riley? I'm the commander of Squatty. E. Oh, you're pretty young for an officer. But I was impressed out there. My knowledge is your... <sighs> Claude... Wallace... All you have to say? I can't believe I took orders from this coward. Screw that! Um, well... <sighs> and so the Federation Army established a series of massive outposts along the front line. Among them, Lindbergh Base, 
Commanded by the 101st Division, this outpost would prove itself a vital logistics hub in the battles to come. Wow, this is our new base? It's incredible! Apparently these facilities can accommodate over 3,000 soldiers and 100 tanks. On top of that, they have enough food, fuel, and ammo to supply every squad on the front line. Impressive. More like a dream come true. If I didn't know better, I'd think we were still in Federation territory. I guess the brass can get stuff done, when they actually try. What's the deal, though? They got all these resources and we're still stuck with one busted-ass tank? Excuse me? Our squad takes excellent care of the hopper. I have to admit, this really puts the scope of our mission into perspective. Hell yeah! With this much heat, the imps are gonna feel the burn! No, we've barely seen the tip of the iceberg. Even all this might not be enough. Oh, you think? Way to rain on our parade, Commander! Hey, who's that? They got some weird get-ups. Oh, those are Navy uniforms! That's a surprise. What are naval troops doing this far inland? Well, I salute them for swimming all the way here. <laughs> Whoa! -ho -ho! Check out the ass on that one! I'd swap her deck. Uh, hold up, Raz! I'm just gonna say hi. Break the ice, you know? He's hopeless. I just hope he doesn't get into trouble. Don't hold your breath. Yeah. Anyway, we still have some time before the meeting. I'm gonna go take a look around. Glad to see you're on time, Claude. Tour the base yet? Yeah. Compared to the old camps, this is heaven on Earth. Excellent. I expect you to put all this funding to good use. Sir, the commanders of squads A through I have assembled. Then let's get down to business. I know Squad E just arrived, but we already have marching orders. Our mission is to capture a small town northeast of here. According to reports, Rain is one of the enemy's most valued comm centers. Which is why it's being guarded by a tank platoon. That complicates things. Squad E is mostly infantry. Do we have the right equipment for urban and anti-tank warfare? Don't worry. This time you'll have fire support. Once you infiltrate the city, simply relay the tank's coordinates to the field artillery team. I see you already thought this through. We also received intel that the Empire is inflating their numbers with decoys. If we can discern the real tanks from the fake, Rain is as good as ours. Excellent work, Lieutenant. I'm glad I can depend on you. You flatter me, sir. <laughs> Impressed? Control info and you control the war. Join ops, huh? Coordinating with the fire support unit is gonna make or break this mission. <laughs> Try to minimize collateral damage. We plan on repurposing their gear for our own comm center. Minerva, you are to lure the enemy troops as far away from the city as possible. Consider it done. Squad E will then sneak in and gather intel for the field artillery team. Understood, sir. Yo, I hear we're moving out already. Oh, shame. I just scored a hot date with a Navy babe. <laughs> you wish. You got shut down. Hard. Uh, you were watching? Raz, what you do in your spare time is up to you. But when you're on duty, you represent the army. <laughs> Who are you, my mom? <laughs> Feels like it sometimes. Anyway, you said we'd have fire support. 
Does that mean it's a joint operation? You guessed it. <sighs> hey, looks like you're still alive. I'm glad you're okay too. They told me you'll be commanding my team. Oh, really? Well then, I look forward to... Spare me. I already requested a transfer. Uh, oh. But orders are orders. Until my transfer goes through, you're in charge. Not that I expect real leadership from a scaredy clod. <sighs> what do you know, Riley come lately? You just got here. All bark and no bite as always. You mind shutting up while the grown-ups talk? What the hell? It's been ten years and that's how you greet an old friend? Uh, hi there, Riley! I know it's not my business, but Claude... Uh, Lieutenant Wallace is a great commander. None of us would have made it this far without him. We trust him with our lives. And since we'll be working together, maybe you should... Uh... I should trust him? I'm sure it's all sunshine and rainbows while you're winning, but when the chips are down... Running away is probably all he could manage. Cut it out, Riley. <sighs> the Empire took your family from you, not Claude. He's grown up since then. Judge him for who he is now. Leave it be, Kai. But... It's all right. Words can't change the past. We'll just have to rebuild. Rebuild what? Our trust. Huh? Riley, I'm gonna show you how much I've changed. At least give me a chance to prove myself. Let's make one thing clear. Unless it's for the mission, I do not take orders from you. Riley... Give me a break. <sighs> Our goal is to liberate Rain. That is all. Be sure not to miss a single tank. Locate the decoys and confirm the real tank's positions. Squad E, move out! This fog will make finding the real tanks... interesting. Yeah. Can't spot the decoys until we're practically on top of them. Stick to cover and proceed with caution. Copy that. No, I can't speak for Raz. Say what? Understood. This is awkward. What the hell? The main gate's blocked off. This isn't good. Our tank can't get in. Looks like the controls are on the other side. Raz, you go around and open the gate. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. You're not talking about Hoffman, are you? I'm not letting you ride it anymore. I found the enemy. Claude, we've located a tank. All right, keep it up. There should be more lurking around. Enemy spotted! Whatever you do, do it fast! Tank number two! Great. There's more to go. So watch out for decoys. I'll do my best! They might be soldiers after all! I can't wait for I them! Can 
We found the third tank! Okay, let's keep looking and make sure we don't miss any. This tank makes number four! Good going. There should still be more, so keep looking. Weapons tight. Our mission is to find the tanks, not attack them. Let's do this by the book. I've done it! We found the fifth tank! Okay, let's keep searching. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. Keep your eye on the birdie. Whew. Thank goodness. I should have expected as much from you. Okay, we got a pretty good idea of where the tanks are. I'll report back right away. Huh? Something isn't right. What's wrong, Miles? Our signal's jammed. We can't radio fire support. What? But we need that artillery. I can't fire at random, and I can't even contact them. We should get out of here before we're surrounded. Claude! <laughs> They're late. Have you heard from the front line? They were supposed to report in ages ago. Been hailing them, but there's no response. You hailed them? What the hell were you thinking? <sighs> Lieutenant Miller, the enemy knows our position. They triangulated our radio signals, moron. Oh no, we're done for. They almost got us. They only got the general direction. They won't land a direct hit that easy. But it won't be long before they do! Lieutenant, we have to retreat! If we run away, Claude's dead. And Squad E with him. Hold your ground until I say otherwise. At this rate, we'll all be killed. What if we're waiting for an order that never comes? <sighs> the chips are down, Claude. And you're MIA. It's just like before. If you really have changed, then prove it to me. Enemy soldiers, incoming from the west. Trapped like friggin' rats. What the hell are we gonna do? We can't even contact Lieutenant Victor. This mission's a failure, Claude. Only you can give the order to retreat. After we've come so far? <sighs> Claude? No retreat. Our job is to tell fire support where to aim. And that's what we're gonna do. But how can we if we can't call him? The answer is... That tower! Huh? Oh, that's a signal tower. Back in the day, they'd switch up the numbers to send out messages. Sniper team, can you hit those panels? From here? Of course. Good, then get ready. We can use that tower to send coordinates to the field artillery team. Shooting the panels should change their numbers. I'll tell you what to display. First, make the top row say, 715. Roger that. Stay close to your unit. That 
that supposed to tell them where the tanks are? They probably won't even notice. Wait a minute. The top row doesn't look like a coordinate. I wonder what 715 means. Good work, Kai. Now ring the bell five times. Five times? <laughs> wow. July 15th. That takes me back. Hey, you sure they're gonna figure this out? Don't worry. Riley will definitely know what it means. See? They did it! They destroyed the tanks! Slick shooting. Those were both direct hits. Looks like your code made it through to Riley. Yeah. Kinda weird that Raz didn't get it, though. Okay. On to the next ones. Shoot a different tower and make the top row say 715. The enemy's infiltrated the area! Enemy sighted. All units, watch your surroundings. So hungry. We can't let them see our numbers. Move to flank them. Good. Those are the right coordinates. Ring the bell, Kai. You got it. Hell yeah! Music to my ears! The next tower is the last. Snipers! 715 up top, right? I'm on it. Try to keep losses to a minimum. Pretty good vantage. We can't let them see our numbers. is wiped out? Impossible. So this is it. All right, we're pulling out. Make it quick. They beat an awfully hasty retreat, considering how many troops they had left. They lost their race in the hole. Heck, I'd withdraw if I was in their shoes. Awaiting orders. Should we pursue? <sighs> Negative. Our job is to capture the comm center. No reason to overextend ourselves. Now let's finish up the mission. Split up and find their radio equipment. On it, boss. All right, boys. One more job to do. Come on! <sighs> you saved us all. Thank you, Riley. Miles, you should have seen the look on your face. You try keeping your cool with a bomb landing next to you.
<sighs> Raz, Miles, come help me gather some parts we need. Uh, can't you do that on your own? Oh. Come on, Raz. Let's go. Where are they all headed? Good timing. Now we can talk in private. Riley. Mind if I sit down? Oh, uh, be my guest. July 15th is coming up soon. Remember how excited we'd get for the Star Child Festival? We'd all run up the clock tower, and the first five kids to reach the top would ring the bell. I remember the winners got to wear a Star Child medal, and every year you wore yours with pride. I always looked up to you. I loved that festival, almost as much as I loved winning. That's why I knew you'd recognize the signal. You dingus. For all you know, I might have forgotten. Not you. There's no way you'd forget those memories. You really do trust me, huh? The only reason I didn't retreat was out of stubborn pride. I was this close to leaving you for dead, though. Honestly, I didn't think you'd find a way out. And yet, here we are. I cancelled my transfer request, by the way. I'll give you another shot. At least long enough to confirm you're not a scaredy clod. And it's your job to prove it. It's a little late, but I look forward to working with you. Emergency! The city is... Look at rain! What's going on? Riley, come on! Rain is burning? Why? I thought we had it on the Empire did this! They set fire to the city so we couldn't take it! They pretended to withdraw but left agents inside. How could they? There are still civilians in there! Did the communications officers make it out? The whole city was doused with napalm. Once the flame started spreading, it was already too late. <laughs> no... No! Riley, get a hold of yourself! Fire... No! Dad! Dad? Hey, stay with me! This isn't Hoffman! Your dad's not in there! Riley! 